Now a really helpful feature in DeckHive is the ability to add extra tables to your session to give you more space to work in. Now we're on table one here, it says number one at the bottom of the screen, but we can click on plus and add more tables to our session. This is really helpful if we want to have different spaces for different people within our group. So if, for example, we have person one working on table one, selecting their cards, at the same time, a second person could be on table two and selecting some different cards and putting them onto their table. And they won't interfere with each other at all. It just gives them some extra space that's just for them. And you can have an individual working on each table or you could even have a group working on each table. So for example, sometimes when we run sessions that are larger, we will say breakout room one is working on table one, breakout room two is working on table two, for example, and you have three or four people in each of those uh, tables, in each of those breakout rooms, having a discussion and all able to see each other's cards uh, to support the discussion that they're having. Uh, but I should mention that these tables aren't uh, private spaces. So if I'm in breakout room two, there's nothing to stop me clicking on number one and going and seeing what's happening in table one uh, and what choices people are making of the cards there and the sticky notes that they might be writing on. So we're all in the same session, but we just have a little bit more space uh, to work in. Now, if it helps, we can also rename these sessions. So if I click on the active table here, I can rename it and give it the name of the person who's going to be working in there. So perhaps sometimes some activities, it's helpful for each person to have their own workspace. Uh, it only shows the first two letters, uh, but underneath there you can see the name that's been allocated to that table. So I hope that helps. You can add up to 20, uh, by the way, uh, 20 different uh, tables within a session. And if you wanted to uh, clear up after yourself, you can each yeah, go into each um, table and click on clear table to get rid of those cards, or you can click on delete the table to get rid of that table entirely. So very easy to do. Uh, so I suggest you have a play with that and find your way around.